Hey everyone, so this video is about going over one of the biggest mistakes that I made in becoming a developer. Code every day. I can't stress how important that is to employers, especially when you're aiming for that first junior developer position. When I say code every day, I absolutely mean it. I can't stress how valuable that passion is when you're in an interview. And how do employers even know that you're passionate about this career? Uh, for the most part, if you're just getting into it, you probably don't have a lot of projects to show. Um, this is why I always recommend a um, just even start up a GitHub profile. And even if it's just little code changes, little even little projects where you're just practicing what you're learning, employers will look at all those commits that you made. They'll look at how often you've been coding and building projects and growing and um, you can even put in your commits what you've learned and you might feel that you're gonna make yourself look stupid because your code isn't up to par but I think what's more valuable to employers is showing that you have this desire to grow as a developer and you have this understanding that you are just starting out and you are very eager to learn and learn good practices and you care about growing as a developer and that should show in all of your commits um, and when I say commits um, you can use different repositories to kind of show um, your workflow and your history of you just building code for your projects. You don't have to use GitHub. There are others. There are Bitbucket. Um, I started using GitLabs recently. But just some sort of online repository that shows a history of you learning and growing and constantly coding, that's a really solid way to back up your passion for learning and growing in this profession with data. So that is, I, I've given you all that advice right now, but I did not do that initially. In fact, I did not do that for the first year to year and a half where I did code a lot and I did have a passion, but there was no history of it. Um, so my recommendation to you is just create a, a profile in GitHub. It's completely free. Um, I actually got started with a, um, basically a, a graphical interface for GitHub, so I wasn't comfortable with the command line just yet. You can start like that as well. But basically, just start every time you put a little work into your project, commit it, push it up to the repository. Um, and if you guys have any questions about how to do that, um, I'm happy to link really easy tutorials to read. Um, but um, yeah, I didn't do that. For the first year and a half, it was one of the biggest mistakes I made. There was so much code and so much progress I didn't have to show employers. Um, so yeah, start committing your code. Start um, showing that data for employers because they do care about it. In fact, that's probably one of the, the main things. In fact, I know that's one of the main things um, my manager looked for when he was in a so anyways good luck on all of your projects of course if you guys have any questions comments or feedback please leave them in the comments below 